my relationship to uh, His Holiness Arunachalini uh, and uh, Chandramouli Maharaj. My obeisances to His Holiness Radhanath Swami and Chandramouli Maharaj. Uh, Actually, this uh, Western India's uh, zone has uh, always been helpful to me when I was uh, rejected for uh, 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 citizenship in the uh, Western Gulf by the communists. Then it was uh, uh, Who had helped too much? The donors? Uh, Srinathji's Srinathji, father. Srinathji Prabhu's father had helped him to get uh, citizenship when he was uh, rejected by the communists of West Bengal to get citizenship of India. And when I was uh, given up for a donor, it was Radha Swami kept uh, and uh, Koha Krishna kept praying for me so that I was able to uh, recover. And Radhanath Swami and Gopal Krishna Maharaj kept praying for him so that he could recover. So, uh, I very much intended, especially to Radhanath Swami kept his uh, doctors 24 hours a day watching over me at the Hinduja. Uh, Hospital. I know, in de especially indebted to Radhanath Maharaj, he kept doctors 24 hours keeping a watch over me in Hinduja Hospital. <coughs> After I was released from the Hinduja Hospital, I went to the Bhakti Vedanta Hospital. After I was released from the Hinduja Hospital, I went to the Bhakti Vedanta Hospital. Well, I've been doing a uh, a therapy, it's a, a different kinds of therapy. Where I was doing different kinds of therapies. In the Hinduja, I used to see the, the sisters a lot. In Hinduja, I used to see the sisters a lot. But in the Bhakti Vedanta, I see mainly the uh, doctors, less of the sisters. In Bhakti Vedanta, I see more of the doctors and less of the sisters. They're taking very nice care of me. They're taking very nice care of me. As far as, uh, and uh, they're telling me all kinds of stories about uh, the hospital there. They're telling me all kinds of stories about the hospital there. That uh, there was one uh, Bengali lady and she had become completely atheistic. There was one Bengali lady and she had become completely atheistic. Her father came to the hospital with uh, cancer of the lungs. Her father came to the hospital with cancer of the lungs. So the spiritual care ladies asked her if she would like to read the uh, Bhagavad Gita for so, her father. So the spiritual care ladies asked her if she would like to read the Bhagavad Gita for her father. She was not inclined at first, but they encouraged her so much she felt uh, inspired. But they encouraged her. She was not interested, but they encouraged her a lot, and then she was inspired. So they got her a Bhagavad Gita in Bengali. They got her a Bhagavad Gita in Bengali. And she was reading for her father. And she was reading for her father. And she like this, she got a change of heart. And she got a change of heart. She thought, I th thought that the spiritual people were just greedy and they just wanted for themselves. But I see you who are selfless and you're giving so much. And so now I, I change my heart. She, I want to also practice. She thought that the spiritual people were just greedy and were doing for themselves, but she saw that they're selfless and she got also inspired to practice. So, uh, eventually her father uh, left his body, but she wanted them to perform the Hare Krishnas 
to find the final rites. Eventually, her father left her body, but she wanted the Hare Krishnas to perform the final rites. And she, uh, Shanti is one of the one day uh, programs every, uh, I forget, every so often. And she sponsored one of the Monday programs feast at the hospital. So like this, uh, they're making so many uh, devotees. Like this, they're making so many devotees. At the, at the hospital. At the hospital. Maybe I'll become a devotee. <laughs> Maybe I'll become a devotee. <laughs> they're really, they're really uh, touching the heart of many people. They're really touching the heart of many people. I don't know, some of the people, maybe it's not good to tell the story because they're right now, they may be here as devotees. <laughs> maybe some of the stories it's not good to tell because some of the people may be here as devotees now. <laughs> <laughs> and they may feel embarrassed. <laughs> they may feel embarrassed. So. Uh, one, we went last year with a safari to uh, to uh, <coughs> Bangladesh. Last year we went on the safari to Bangladesh. And uh, we started off by going to uh, Keturi ground. We started off by going to Keturi ground. Which is a place of Narottam Das Thakur. This is a place of Narottam Das Thakur. And we heard that, uh, I think he also went to Bangladesh. Yes, yes. So you got inspired because you heard how Radhana Swami had gone to Bangladesh too. So you're inspired by how Radhana Swami went to Bangladesh too. I saw his own. But I don't get to go to all the holy places. Although my zone, I don't get to go to all the holy places. I get, I, I go to about half. I go there. I go half, to half the places. And I hadn't been to Keturi. I hadn't been to Keturi. And I hadn't been to Sunaganj, the real place of uh, Bhakti, uh, 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 Ajaita Goswami. So, and I hadn't gone to Sunam, Sunam Ganj, the birthplace of Advaita Charya. So I went by uh, helicopter. So I went there by helicopter. To Sunam Ganj. Hmm. To Sunam Ganj. And the helicopter driver got lost. <laughs> and the helicopter driver got lost. <laughs> <laughs> so he had to land in those directions. <laughs> so he had to land two times <laughs> to ask people for directions. They were playing cricket. <laughs> and he landed. He said, hey, where is the festival going on? And where he landed, there was a festival going on. He said, oh no, it's not that way, five miles. <laughs> it's probably that way. <laughs> five kilometers. Twelve kilometers. <laughs> So then you need to go. Again they took off. So we got to the place where so Advaita we, was born. We have a temple there. So we got to the place where Advaita was born. They've got a temple there. And uh, we installed the deity. And we installed the deity. Uh, so. Like this, some of the places are so remote, I hadn't visited them. Like this, so many places are so remote, we hadn't visit, I hadn't visited them. But, uh, so in a, in the uh, other place, uh, uh, Some 
we say our joint uh, Narutam's birthplace on the side of the Padma River. Narutam's birthplace on the side of the Padma River. There it said that uh, there was a tree. It said that there is a tree. Where love of Godhead was left. Where love of Godhead was left. It's called Prema Tali. It's called Prema Tali. So he uh, went to the tree and to try to get if there's any leftover love of Godhead. So he went to the tree to see if there was any leftover love of Godhead. <laughs> well, I think I think that Radhanath Swami took it all. <laughs> but I think, <laughs> but I think that Radhanath Swami took it all. <laughs> We tried to get some any remnant. We're trying to get some remnant. <laughs> so we went to the Padma River. We went to the Padma River. To seek out the few drops there. To seek out the few drops there. And the Ganges of Bhagirati. And the Ganges of Bhagivati. Bhagirati. You see, one gets all kinds of uh, pious activities. One gets all kinds of pious activities. But in the Bhagavad River it says that you get either love for Godhead, if you're a Vaishnava, or if you're a Vaishnava Aharadi, then you get uh, suffering. But in the Padma River, you get love of Godhead if you're a Vaishnava, but if you're a Vaishnava Aparadi, then you get suffering. So, anyway, we had our dip there. We had a dip there. Since then I got this, so. <laughs> Since then I got <laughs> this. Maybe I'm a Vaishnava Prati. Maybe I'm a Vaishnava Prati. I try to uh, avoid Aparat to the Vaishnavas. I try to avoid Aparad to Vaishnavas. So, we heard some nice pastimes. So we heard some nice pastimes. That uh, at Ketari Gram. That at Ketari Gram. Uh, so he abdicated his throne. So he abdicated, abdicated his throne. And they requested him to stay there. And uh, at, uh, at uh, They requested him to stay there. And uh, so he stayed and he made a temple. So he stayed and he made a temple. So he was staying with Ramchandra Kaviraj. He was staying with Ramchandra Kaviraj. And one day they saw two young uh, educated boys. And one day they saw two educated young boys. Uh, young men. Young men. They were, they were uh, herding buffalo and goats. They were herding buffalo and goats. With some help of some employees. With some help of some employees. So they thought, oh, these boys are going to be doing uh, the Durga Puja. And that's why they got all these animals. So they thought that these boys must be doing Durga Puja. That's why they got all these animals. So, uh, Narutam said, "Be nice if we preach to them." So Narutam said, "It would be nice if we preach to them." If they were Vaishnavas, it would be very good. They become Vaishnavas, it will be very good. But uh, unfortunately, then the other he said, "Well, they're not going to listen to us. We're Vaishnavas. They're puffed up, brahmanas." But Kaviraj said that they're not going to become Vaishnavas, they're not going to listen to us, they're puffed up Brahmins. And they're not going to listen to two Vaishnavas. And they're not going to listen to two Vaishnavas. And they came up with a plan. They came up with a plan. That they would have a mock argument. That they would have a mock argument. Following behind the two. Following behind the two. And this way, they would, one would take the role as a, as a smarta Brahman. And this way one would take the role of a smarta Brahmin. And the other as a Vaishnava. And the other as a Vaishnava. 
So they were arguing behind each other. So they were arguing behind each other. What are you doing with all these animals? What are you doing with all these animals? I'm going to offer them to Kali. I'm going to offer them to Kali. To Durga. To Durga. No, don't you know? Durga only takes vegetarian food. But don't you know that Durga takes only vegetarian food? She only eats what her husband eats, Shiva. She eats only what her husband eats, Shiva. And he's a vegetarian. And he's a vegetarian. <laughs> no, but then who eats all that food? No, but we eat all that food. Yeah, I hear the, the ghost and the hobgoblins that go hang around. The ghost and the hobgoblins hang around him. They take all the meat. They take all the meat. So you're not getting the real prashadam. So you're not getting the real prashadam. Like this they had an argument back and forth. Like this they had an argument back and forth. Jai Kali, Jai Krishna. Jai Kali, Jai Krishna. It's all the same. It's all the same. No, no. Jai Isha Gunahi is on record today that she's the energy of Krishna, but she's not Krishna. No, no. She's the energy of Krishna. She's not Krishna. So like this, the two of the boys, they heard every word they said. So like this, the two of the boys heard every word they said. And they thought, what are we doing with these animals? <laughs> and they thought, what are we doing with these animals? Why are we offering them? Why are we offering them? The, oh, they went over and asked, who are you two? Then they went and asked, who are you two? I said, oh, he's Narutam Das Thakur. He's Narutam Das Thakur. He's uh, Ramchandra Kaviraj. And he's Ramchandra Kaviraj. And they fell down and they surrendered and they said, we want to learn Vaishnava. Uh, from you. They bowed down and they surrendered and they said, we want to learn Vaishnava Tattva from you. So I was remembering here that this also, some young people are here and some young people come from all over India for this yatra and that uh, Narathana was also preaching to the young people as Radhanath Swami is preaching to the young people. So, so many young people come here and young people from different parts of India come here. So, Narutam Das Thakur was also preaching to young people like Radhanath Maharaj is doing here. So, we got many races around India, which are, which are following the footsteps of this uh, preaching to young educated people. So we've got many bases all over India which are following in the footsteps of preaching to many young people in India. So, like this, the two of them joined Radhanath Swami's Bhakta program. <laughs> so like this, the two of them joined Radhanath Swami's Bhakta program. I mean, uh, Narutam Das Thakur's uh, Bhakta program. I mean, Narutam Das Thakur's <laughs> Bhakta program. <laughs> so, Slip. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so they uh, they learned Vaishnava Tattva there in Ram Kili. And they learned uh, Vaishnava Tattva and went to Ramakili. Then uh, they wore Vaishnava Tilak. They wore Vaishnava Tilak. They went to. Uh, they went back home to their father, the great Mayavadi, Shivananda. And they went back to their home to their father, the great Mayavadi, Shivananda. When he saw them with Vaishnava Tilak, he said, Ah, Kulodam, Kulodam, the worst of my family tradition. Why, why is all this Vaishnava Tilak? Why is it all? Where the right treasure? Three lines. Horizontal. <laughs> so when the father saw them, he started saying, Kula Dam. Worst of the Kulas. 
and he wanted them to wipe off their tilaks and put horizontal Vaishnava, put horizontal tilak. So then they started to preach to their father. So they started to preach to their father. Oh, what are you doing? You're preaching to me. Oh, what you're doing? You're preaching to me. Oh, this is an insult. This is an insult. My son is preaching to me. I'm the father. My son is preaching to me. I'm the father. I will not preach to my children. I so I, I bring the local pundits. He wrote the local pundits. They were preached by their children. They all got convinced about to do Vaishnav Dharma. He said he would not preach to the children. He brought the local pundits. They got preached by the children and they all started following Vaishnava Dharma. Hari So then the father discusses, well, they don't know anything. What these foolish pundits are doing? So the father started getting angry. What are these foolish pundits doing? They don't know anything. I have a friend, Digri Jaya Mithila Disha. He's the greatest pundit of Mithila. He's conquered all the four regions. I'll bring him, he'll defeat my children. I'm going to bring the Digvijaya of Mithila. He's the greatest pundit, he'll defeat all of them. So he wrote a letter and asked the Digvijay to come down. So he asked the Digvijay to come down. And uh, wrote, wrote a letter. And when he came down, he said, oh, I said, need my dignity to talk to these youth. I am a Digvijay. Ha! When he came, he said, it's below my dignity to talk to these young people. I'm a dig Vijay. What do the young people think about this? What do the young people think about this? What do you young people think about this? So it's going to be some, some elderly person, then at least according to my dignity. Get me some elderly person, at least that will be according to my dignity. So they had a local Vaishnava, Bhagavat Acharya. So they had a local Vaishnava, Bhagavat Acharya. So they brought him. So they brought him. And they gave him the shlokas they learned from Narutam Das Thakur. And they gave him the shlokas they learned from Narutam Das Thakur. So then. Uh, The Dig Vijay said, okay, you can speak first. Ha! So the Dig Vijay said, you can speak first. I'll give you a chance. I'll give you a chance. <laughs> the Vaishnava was very humble and he spoke and he gave Vaishnava Tattva and the Vaishnava has got, the uh, Ravan has got 12 qualities, the Vaishnava has got 13. The same twelve plus Vakti. Uh, 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 so the Vaishnava was very humble. He spoke. He said that Vaishnava, that a Brahmana, a Vaishnava has more qualities than a Brahmana. A Brahmana has twelve qualities. A Vaishnava has thirteen, which is twelve plus Bhakti. Yeah. Okay. I have difficulty uh, pronouncing. V, P, and F, and L. So that's why I have someone repeating. I have difficulty pronouncing B, P, M, F. That's why I have somebody translating. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> that's the helicopter I went. Maybe that's the helicopter I went. So, the Digvijaya, he didn't have any answer. So the Digvijaya didn't have any answer. So, where, where is this uh, shloka? Where is this shloka? Give him. Where is this shloka? Where is this shloka? Give me. He said, no, it's right here. It's given the uh, Puranas, it's given the uh, Upanishads. 
Said it's given right here. It's given in the Puranas. It's given in the Upanishads. Oh my God! I never studied these. I only studied the Smarta Shastra. Oh my God! I never studied these. I studied only the Smarta Shastras. I'm defeated. I'm defeated. Oh no! Oh no! I cannot become. I should become a Vaishnava, but I'm not humble enough to be a Vaishnava. I should become a Vaishnava, but I'm not humble enough to be a Vaishnava. So. I I cannot remain a Digvijaya. I no longer I'm defeated now. I can no longer remain a Digvijaya. I'm defeated now. So I'll become a, I'll take the middle path. So I'll take middle the path. middle path. I'll become a beggar. I'll become a beggar. There's no such middle path. There's no such middle path. You should have surrendered and become a Vaishnava. You should just surrender and become a Vaishnava. But anyway, he became a, a beggar. And he, uh, a mendicant, he went around ex Digvijaya. So he went around as a beggar, as a mendicant, as an ex Digvijaya. <laughs> the Vaishnavas are not eager to go around and to defeat people, they want to convince them. The Vaishnavas are not eager to go around and defeat people, they want to convince them. So they want them to be convinced to take out Vaishnava Dharma to be liberated. They but want, not, you know, what, what, get some flag or banner, like a Digi Jaya. They want to go around and convince people. They don't need, they don't want a flag saying that they're a Digi Jaya. A Shivananda Vatacharya. When he saw his Digi Jai got defeated also, he was overwhelmed. He went bananas. When Shivananda Bhattacharya saw that the Digi Jai got defeated by these boys, he went bananas. <laughs> so the children, they, they went back to the ashram of Narutanda Thakur, the and, youth. And the youth went back to the ashram of Narutanda Thakur. So they wanted to take initiation. They wanted to take initiation. But there are two of them. They didn't know which, who, which one to take from. There were two of them. They didn't know who to take from. They, they respected both. They respected both. So they took and decided, you take from one, I take from the other. <laughs> so they decided, you take from one, I'll take from the other. You accept mine as Shiksha Guru and yours as I'll accept as Shiksha Guru. You accept mine as Shiksha Guru and I'll accept yours as Shiksha Guru. So like that they were, they took initiation. No one could tell who is the disciple of who, because they so, served both very faithfully and very equally. So they took initiation and nobody could make out who was a disciple of whom, because they were serving both very faithfully. So, like this we see how the Shiksha Guru is an important role in Vaishnava Dharma. So like this we see how the Shiksha Guru is an important role in Vaishnava Dharma. I hope uh, that uh, my disciples, the uh, Shiksha Guru that they take on, like, take Nar, uh, Radhanath Swami. I hope see. that my disciples take Shiksha Guru like Radhanath Swami. Radhanath Swami. Radhanath Swami. He uh, gives such nice uh, instruction. He gives nice instructions. He's a good, a good example. And he sets a good example. So, uh, like this, uh, the Narata, he wanted to, uh, to have a Gaurapurnima festival. So Narata wanted to have a Gaurapurnima festival. But he, he, so he invited, uh, Srinivas Acharya to come. He invited Srinivas Acharya to come. And he requested him to please invite all the Vaishnavas to come for Gaurapurnima festival. And he asked him to invite all the Vaishnavas to come for the Gaurapurnima festival. Srinivas uh, 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 Acharya, Mahuda's service, he said, yes, I must do. 
Srinivasacharya in the mood of service said, yes, I must do. But then he was the whole night, he couldn't sleep. How am I going to get everyone to come? It's, the whole it's not an easy job. Everybody is feeling separation from Lord Chaitanya. So Srinivasacharya was thinking, he didn't sleep the whole night. He was thinking, how will I get everyone to come? Everyone is feeling separation from Lord Chaitanya. Then he dozed off around one or two o'clock. Then he dozed off at around one or two o'clock. And uh, Lord Chaitanya appeared in a dream. And Lord Chaitanya appeared in a dream. And told him that, no, I want you to do this. And told him that, no, I want you to do this. And if you go and get uh, Janava Devi to come. And you go and get Janava Devi to come. And you get, uh, he names some people. He you get these people to come, I'll bring everyone else. And he named some more people and said, get all of them to come and invite everyone else. They'll bring everyone else. And they'll bring everyone else. So he woke up and he realized that this is meant to be. And so he went back. And he went to uh, Karda, Kar, uh, not. Uh, and he woke up and he realized that this is meant to be. So he went to the house of uh, Nityananda where there was Janava Devi. So he went to the house of Nityananda where there was Janava Devi. Karam, Karam. Near, near, right near to. Uh, to uh, No, not near Akachaka. Huh? Yeah, Karda, Karda. Karda. Near, near to uh, the uh, uh, Panihati Dam. Karda, near to Panihati Dam. Six kilometers. Six kilometers. So he went there, and uh, normally that this. Uh, Associates, they don't go anywhere. There are too much separation. And he went there and normally these associates don't go anywhere. It's too much separation. But she agreed to come. But she agreed to come. So because she agreed to come, all the Vaishnavas went along the way. Because she agreed to come, then all the Vaishnavas came along the way. He got an Advaita son, Achyutananda. Advaita son, Achyutananda. And we got uh, like this. And they got like this. This is also uh, Shri Ketra. Shri Chitra. And different holy places they got uh, they got the Vaishnavas to come. And from different holy places they got the Vaishnavas to come. So like this. There was a, a whole Ketri Gram. They were so overwhelmed with happiness that the Vaishnavas were going to come. They decorated the city and they put uh, this uh, sugarcane plants and whole water pots. They were so overwhelmed with happiness that the Vaishnavas were going to come. They decorated the whole city with sugarcane, water pots. Cooking. All auspicious items. All auspicious items. Banana trees. Okay. Banana. Banana uh, leaves. Trees. Trees. Banana trees. So like this, uh, Narottam Das Chakur, he had a whole house of all the Vaishnavas. So like this, Narottam Das Chakur had a full house of all Vaishnavas. So he was singing bhajans. He was singing bhajans. And he sang a song of separation from Lord Chaitanya. And he was singing a song of separation from Lord Chaitanya. And everyone, it was as if they were dancing in ghee. And everyone was as if they were dancing in ghee. They weren't they were moving in slow motion. Slow motion. Dancing. Dancing in slow motion. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. I cannot sing in the separation mode that Narottam sang. I cannot sing in the same separation mode that Narottam sang. Maybe there are some people here who can. Maybe there are some people here who can. I got it uh, in my hospital room at the evening prasad. Different groups of devotees come and sing. I got in my hospital room where different groups of devotees come and sing during the evening prasad. Yeah, here there is uh, associates from Rajadam, from Navidam, and from uh, Jagannath Puri. He appeared with the associates of Rajadam, Navdweep Dham, and Jagannath Puri. So the, all associates united again with all of the devotees who were present. All of the associates united again with all of the devotees. And the kirtan went on for a day of Brahma. And the kirtan went on for a day of Brahma. It, it, the devotees didn't feel the time passing. Devotees didn't feel the time passing. This was a very rare occasion. I always wish that. And our Gorkhani and Nayapur have such a manifestation. I always wish that our festival in uh, our Gorpunima festival in Mayapur has such a manifestation. But, uh, it's just a cause of mercy of the Lord. Only on a couple of occasions did he uh, appear like this after his departure. It's a causeless mercy of the Lord that he appeared only a couple of equations like this after his departure. It's called Aprakat Lila. It's called Aprakat Lila. First time after being invisible. Past time after being invisible. But he, sometimes he appeared. But sometimes he appeared. Once he appeared uh, at... Uh, the, uh, this, uh, <sighs> at the uh, huh? 
No, I didn't hear it. Sri Rasa. I heard that in the Swarupganj. Once he appeared in Swarupganj. But, uh, so, so, uh, The name of the place. Uh, the name of the place. Just my mind. Just slipped my mind. Shikanda. Shikanda, no. Shikanda, uh, a guru, now it turns out, uh, uh, uh Uh, Sarkar. Uh, Narahari Sarkar. He appeared there after his one year anniversary of his disappearance. In Srikhand, Narahari Sarkar appeared there after his one year anniversary of his disappearance. When I was thinking it would be nice if Prabhupada appeared. I was thinking it would be nice if Prabhupada appeared. <laughs> Not like Narahari Thakur. Like Narahari Thakur. But uh, these are all alokic, uh, inconceivable leelas. But these are all alokic, inconceivable leelas. Uh, next to the Angata. Next to the Amgata. Where, the, where Lord Chaitanya planted the, had a mango tree planted in the crowd. Where Lord Chaitanya had planted the mango tree. Is this place? Is this place? No, oh, it's not that place. It's next to it. Not that place. Next to it. Next to the place where Lord Chaitanya planted the mango. That's where <laughs> we go. We go from Harihar Chetra, Amgata to this place. We go from Harihar Chetra to Amgata, then to this place. Testing you. See if you know your dham. <laughs> Let's just testing if to see if you know your dham. Suvarna Vihar. Suvarna Vihar, that's the place. Suvarna Vihar, that's the place. Hari Ro. Hari Ro. Hari Ro. Yeah, Suvarna Vihar. And the king of Suvarna Vihar, he saw Lord Chaitanya there. And, and, uh, and, and at that place, Dityananda was showing uh, she was as well as uh, Sri Goswami, and there the Lord appeared. At Suvarna Vihar, the, when the king was there, Lord Chaitanya appeared, and there Lord Nityananda was showing Srinivas and uh, Jiva Goswami. And uh, Lord Chaitanya appeared. And Lord Chaitanya appeared. Along with some other associates. Along with some other associates. But, uh, these are the only two places I know of. These are the only two places that I know of. If you know of something else, you tell me. If you know of something else, please tell me. <laughs> but two is enough. But two is enough. Because we need a third. We need a third. We need a third. <laughs> Lord, the Lord Chaitanya is here to all of our devotees. Lord Chaitanya appears to all of our devotees. So either during the Vikrama in Nayapur or the Yatra in Nayapur, we hope to, to have these, uh, this type of appearance. So during our festival, during our Parikrama or during the Yatra in Mayapur, we hope that Lord Chaitanya appears. <laughs> so, 
So this kirtan went on in Kittari, the hearse guard Purnima Festival. So this kirtan went on in Kittari, the first Gaur Purnima Festival. And uh, everyone was so much ecstatic. And everyone was so much ecstatic. And all of a sudden, Lord Chaitanya and his associates had left. All of a sudden, Lord Chaitanya and his associates left. And everyone was thrown into separation. And everyone was so much in separation. They're rolling in the ground, crying. They're rolling in the ground, crying. They felt so much separation. <laughs> After being united together with Lord Chaitanya. They were feeling so much separation. After being united again with Lord Chaitanya. After being united again with Lord Chaitanya. And they looked to Janara Devi. She told me, continue with the kirtan, continue. And they the looked kirtan. at Janava Devi and she said, continue the kirtan, continue. So the kirtan gives us our life. Kirtan, this is our life. Gives us association of Lord Chaitanya. This is association of Lord Chaitanya. And then, uh, Srinivas Acharya took her mission and he installed the six deities performing arti for them. And Srinivas Acharya took permission and he installed the six deities and performed arti for them. Now those deities are in Vrindavan and different places. Now those deities are in Vrindavan and different places. <coughs> but uh, the deities started to emit their fragrance. But the deities started to emit their fragrance. So as the devotees were doing kirtan, they could smell Krishna's divine scent. So as the devotees were doing kirtan, they could smell Krishna's divine scent. And uh, then they felt again deep ecstasy. And then they again felt deep ecstasy. How many like to be at the first Gaur Purnima festival? How many of you would like to be at the first Gaur Purnima festival? Hadeo! <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I, 